What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is the final mock draft for 2021. Uh, it's NFL Draft Eve, Wednesday, April 27th, 28th. Um, my final mock draft, our final mock draft headed into the draft tomorrow night. Um, the Teddy Bridgewater just got traded probably 30 minutes or an hour ago, so I'm going to be able to have kind of an up-to-date um, thinking on what I think is going to happen with Denver and Carolina now. Uh, but first, before we get started, I want to touch on our apparel. You can see it pictured over here. Uh, those are two of our new designs for this year. Um, if you want, if you want a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or whatever you want, you know, uh, just let us know. You can comment. You can send us a message on Twitter. Um, I think there's also a link in the uh, in the description of the video for you to purchase your uh, the Point After Podcast apparel, and that just kind of supports us and gives us uh, uh, a little bit of leeway on what we can do with this you know we plan on traveling to a college game setting up you know live uh podcast interacting with a couple of the fans a couple of you guys um so if you want to help support us and help us get out to maybe your college game um be sure to purchase some apparel uh hit that subscribe button share this video with your friends and nonetheless let's get into it so we're going today with the one and only um uh, mock draft here Okay, I may have just screwed that up. Give me one second. I'll get it fixed. Should be fixed. All right, we're good. Okay, so obviously number one pick here got to be Trevor Lawrence. Um, I think that's kind of kind of given. Um, I there's always the chance, you know, that they go opposite. I don't see it happening. Um, so we're gonna go with Trevor Lawrence to number one to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Number two, kind of set in stone, I believe, Zach Wilson. Uh, to the Jets. Again, I'm only going to do the first round here. It's going to kind of get speed through it. I'm not going to give a lot of insight into why I'm doing the picks, but um, that's what conversations are for. So if you want to have a conversation about the picks, when you see it, go, when you, if you're watching this video, go find us on Twitter. Join in on the conversation. I'm um, going to put out a lot of stuff tonight and then tomorrow night as the draft's going out as well. Number three, a lot of controversy here. Mac Jones or Justin Fields? In my opinion, in my opinion, the quarterback that best fits this offense, Mac Jones. I, I mean, that, that's what it comes down to. Um, Trey Lance, I think, would be a better fit for the offense than um, Justin Fields would, yes. But I think Mac Jones, Kyle Shanahan, Mac Jones is, you, you cut on the tape. Everyone's asking why Mac Jones. The tape don't lie. The eye in the sky never lies. Um, Falcons, if they keep the number four pick, Kyle Pitts, Panay, or sorry, the Bengals and the Dolphins. Here's where it gets dicey. Who's taking the tackle first? Panesu is going to be the first tackle off the board. Joe Burrow needs protection. Two needs protection. Joe Burrow needs a wide receiver. Two needs a wide receiver. The Bengals, here, here's what I think. They don't have another first-round pick. Okay. The Dolphins do. The Dolphins can grab a tackle at that 18 point. Uh, so the Bengals don't have another. The tackles or the, the, the Bengals can miss out on a tackle if they choose to wait. Bengals go Panay Sewell. Dolphins, Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddle just because of Tua. They're not going to go grab Jamar Chase. Although Jamar Chase is a top two, top three wide receiver in this class, Tua's connection with Devontae or Jalen Waddle, um, I think when you had Devontae Parker on the outside, okay, you have Devontae uh, Parker, again, on the outside that you can use. He is a slot receiver, can be, yes, but Jalen Waddle is going to be a good tag team with um, Devontae Parker, so I'm going J Jalen Waddle here. The Lions, I could see them going uh, maybe Jamar Chase or Devontae Smith. I would not be surprised if that happens, but the Lions desperately need some uh, linebacker help, so I'm going Michael Parsons. Carolina just traded Teddy Bridgewater. Justin Fields is your guy. Denver just got Teddy Bridgewater. Okay, Is he going to beat out um, Drew Locke, I don't know, but they may need a wide receiver. I don't think they do. You get uh, Cortland Sutton's coming back, Kenny uh, Hamlin, uh, or Kenny Hamler, Jerry Judy. I think you're good at wide receivers. You have some decent running backs. Would not be surprised if they go tackle here. Um, Rashawn Slater's a good tackle, still on the board. Christian Darisol, Elijah Vera Tucker. I think Vera Tucker can play guard as well. Um, I think they go maybe Rashawn Slater here or go defense. That's that's my two things. Now, the only thing with them going defense is, uh, besides Jeremy Ousu, 
I don't really see anybody worth drafting at nine. So for that reason, I'm going with Rashawn Slater. Cowboys, I think Cowboys go Sertan here. Uh, definitely going to go defense. Giants, that's Devontae Smith. Because he's too good to pass up on. You can see it says they need a tackle guard and edge. I don't care. Devontae Smith, you're not passing up on him. Eagles, same thing. Jamar Chase. Um, Chargers, here's where you go. All right. They definitely need a tackle. Just, uh, J Justin Herbert, uh, Christian Darisol. That's who they're going to grab. The Vikings. Vikings made a dra uh, trade. I feel like they made a trade. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Um, tackle guard, edge, safety. Again. I think Trevin Moerig will be a good guy here for them. Uh, Tackle-wise, though, if you if they were to grab a tackle, it's going to be Elijah Vera Tucker. Um, there's a lot of tackles that are going to come off the board here pretty pretty soon. I'm going to go Trevin uh, Safety from TCU. Bill Belichick gets his quarterback of the future. Cardinals Cardinals need a tight end. Um, but here's the problem. You can see where they're ranked, their average draft position. I don't I don't see it happening. Um, so for that reason, I think with J.C. Horn still on the board and Jeremy Olusu, Christian Barmore, they're going to go somewhere in those three that's going to be defense. I'm going to go Christian Barmore, though. Um, Raiders, definitely going to be linebacker. Dolphins, here's where you get that um, that tackle I was talking about. They went. I think they went... Offensive line heavy last year, if I'm not mistaken. Again, Tevin Jenkins is good. Radunes is good. Leatherwood would be a good round two pick if they don't go um, tackle here. I'm going Elijah Vera Tucker at 18. Washington, Bateman, I think that's kind of set in stone as long as he's there. Uh, the Bears need some offensive help, and they also need a cornerback. Uh, I think I think they could probably get a decent uh, wide receiver later on in the draft, so I'm going J.C. Horn. Colts need wide receiver. I think they're could take Elijah Moore, Moore, Elijah Moore, pair him with um, Pittman and T.Y. Hilton. Um, an edge guy wouldn't be bad here either. Quiddy Pay, Jason Away, any of those guys. I'm going to go with Elijah Moore. Titans, Titans need a wide receiver, but Terrence Marshall, That I feel like that's kind of a reach. It kind of just depends on how you feel about him. Uh, tackle guard. They do need some help. Walker Little wouldn't be bad. Interior O-lineman Landon Dickerson. I don't see him going in the first. Um, this is kind of where I don't know exactly where I want to go. Uh, Little Jenkins, maybe. Maybe maybe Tevin Jenkins there. Uh, you look at the wide receivers available. You still have Terrace Marshall, Rondell Moore, Kadarius Tony. Now, you do still have A.J. Brown. Um, I think Rondell Moore kind of fits with him, Terrace Marshall. It's going to be one of these three guys, in my opinion. Uh, Diami Brown is going to be that guy I was telling you about that the, the Bears could possibly take later on. And Palmer, Kay Johnson, Jalen Darden. Jalen Darden is unbelievable. Uh, Kay Johnson's unbelievable from FCS. I'm going to go Rondell Moore here. Um, and then here, Zach Wilson's going to need either protection or weapon. So I'm probably going to go. I'm thinking Terrace, Terrace Marshall, Tevin Jenkins. One of those two. Um, it says they need a guard. Again, I don't see a guard really being worth taking this early. Um, if Barrett Tucker was available, I'd say him, but he's not. You got your quarterback. You need an edge or a corner. Well, we still have some fairly decent guys, defensive guys, as you can see, Newsom, Farley, Pay, and Oway. Um, they're going to need to get, I don't know what, as you can see, the remaining picks is only for the first round. I don't know what their second rounds look like. If they have a decent shot at getting a wide receiver in the second round, I'm going to expect them to go pay or away. I'm going to go quitty pay. Steelers, there's a lot to talk about this, and I can see why. Najee is the perfect running back. Travis CTN is the perfect running back. But don't be sleeping on Javante Williams. He's going to go a lot higher than people expect. Um, Jaguars. Kind of the same situation. You're going to need some protection for Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence is going to need a weapon. Um, so for that reason, I think here, have I went Jenkins yet? I don't think I have. I'm going to grab Tevin Jenkins. There he is. Uh, the Browns need some D-line, edge, linebacker. Jason Away is going to be. Actually, no. I need to redo that. I can't go back. They're going to take probably a linebacker or a corner. I think Nick Bolton um, is a good guy for them. Uh, Zayvon Collins is another good guy. I see them going defense. Uh, I took away, I forgot about them signing 
somebody they they just paired another defensive end with uh Miles Garrett, so I, they're not going to draft Jason away. I'm going Nick Bolton, Zayvon Collins, somewhere in there. Um, the Ravens, Ravens desperately need a wide receiver. Now, they do have two picks, uh, which is going to help them out a ton. They could go Terrace Marshall here or roll the dice and maybe get Kadarius Toney. Um, I'm thinking they're going to go Terrace Marshall here and then kind of see how the rest of it falls. Farley's going to New, New Orleans, Green Bay. This is where you have to get somebody for um, – Aaron Rodgers to work with, but at the end of the day, you still need help on the D line. Um, Jalen Fitt, there's a lot of guys that could go here. I can't pronounce all these names. Ojulari, uh, Rosu, Carlos Basham is really good. I, I'm thinking they're probably going to go maybe Jalen Phillips if they don't go Jalen Phillips. Um, Newsome, Asante Samuel, Javon Holland, somewhere in there. Now, everyone's going to be talking about why would you not get um, Aaron Rodgers a weapon? You just re signed your running back. You found a gem in Robert Tanyan. You have pretty good wide receivers that Aaron Rodgers don't really need. What stopped Aaron Rodgers from getting to the Super Bowl two years ago was the defense. Last year, the defense couldn't stop Tom Brady late. Grab a corner. Grab a D lineman. Can't go wrong with either one, honestly. I'm probably going to go maybe Greg Newsome. Pair him with uh, Jerry Alexander on the other side, and you're going to be good to go. Uh, the Bills, I think Bills go Jalen Phillips out of Miami. Here's where Kansas City, or it's not Kansas City, Baltimore via Kansas City, maybe grab um, another tackle or an edge guy. I think I'm going to go maybe Gregory Russo here. Um, the edge from Georgia is not a bad choice either. Um, they got their wide receiver at Terrace Marshall, so I think I'm actually going to go Aziz, um, or however you say his name. I apologize if he finds this video. And then Tampa Bay, they just signed Antonio Brown. They have their whole offense coming back. They have their whole defense coming back. They're returning all 22 starters and some of their two deep. They don't even need this pick. Uh, let's see, who can I trade it for? Here's what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to do. Um, That's what they're going to do. They're going to look through these picks. They're going to see who wants it, and they're going to get rid of it. Uh, but if for some reason they do keep it, I think they build a little bit for the future. Grab Zaylen Collins, maybe Nick Moulton. Um, Jalen Waldo at 6 is not an F grade. Rashawn Slater, F or a 9, not an F grade. They, I don't know if this is updated to reflect that um, trade. Lots of A+, a couple C pluses, uh, Bs thrown in there. Overall here, going to ignore the team grades. What's my overall draft grade? Why didn't it show my overall grade? Or is it at the top? I don't know. Nonetheless, that is going to be my final, final mock draft for 2021. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and follow us on social media. And please conversate with us tomorrow night. Let's have some good old-fashioned draft talk. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you disagreed, maybe you do agree. On some of my picks here, let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Draft Day.